everyone. Uh, welcome to a guitar tutorial for um, the instrumental piece uh, called Va or Ve, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, from the soundtrack of The Beginner's Guide, um, composed by Ryan Roth, I believe it is. Um, this is probably one of the more notable songs from the game, the one that everyone remembers. Um, really simple uh, guitar instrumental with some singing over it, birds chirping in the background. Uh, it's only about a minute, two minutes long, um, and it just repeats. Um, but it's a very simple guitar part, and so I'm just going to show you how to play it here. Um, so there is a correct way to play it, I believe, uh, with a capo. Um, and there's a way that you can play the same notes without a capo, um, but it really just comes down to string timbres. So um, the correct way to play it, I believe, doesn't have any um, of these bottom strings, which are of a different material than the top four. Um, and I don't believe that the song actually uses any of the bottom strings, but the way to play it without the capo does utilize a bottom string. Which I believe is a steel string, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but either way, um, I'm going to show you how to play both ways, and they will sound the same. Uh, Note-wise, it's just one will sound a little more similar to the song than the others because it's being played on uh, thicker strings. Uh, so there's a difference between that and see. There's a very very subtle difference, but uh, first I'll show you how to play it with the capo. So you're gonna want to capo three here. Um, also, the song is in standard tuning. So E, A, D, G, B, E is going to be the tuning, capo three for this first version to play it. Um, I'll also note that this first version is, um, while well, I, I think correct, the correct way to play it, uh, it is a little more difficult and you need a little bit more um, you know, stretchiness in the hands, whereas the other one's going to be a lot easier. Um, so capo three, standard tuning. Um, you're going to go ahead and um, just go ahead and I would use um, index and ring finger for these two strings we're going to be doing here. But um, what we're going to have is zero, zero, two, one, zero, zero, or I should say XX on the bottom because those strings aren't used. Um, so we got zero, zero, two, one. X, X. Um, and this is going to be your shape for most of the uh, most most of the song really um, these don't really change um, they don't really lift up from the song uh, but your middle finger and ring finger are going to be hitting some notes in between so the first chord is a G that's going to play um, and it will play like this just four repetitions of uh, six string, four string, third string. And then you're gonna go fifth string, third string, fourth string, and do that four times. Now in the song, I believe you repeat this uh, progression twice. So you play this progression twice. Um, if I'm mistaken, I'll, I'll say so here. Um, so the song basically begins as, um, sorry, I'm fingering right here, begins as this. That's the way it goes. Um, like I said, I'll say down here if it's only one time through or two times through. Um, but now we're going to add an extra bit of bass note kind of noodling around. Um, and the way that's going to go is something along these lines. That's going to be the way the song repeats until it fades out. So 
Uh, what's happening there is obviously the strum pattern is the same. You're doing four sets of the, each chord. So you're still basically doing this. You're just changing the, uh, the bass note that you're hitting here. So um, uh, the bass note is gonna go six, open fret. You're gonna use your uh, middle finger here to hit six string second fret. Use your pinky to get up here to get the six string fourth fret. Middle finger to get uh, fifth string second fret. And then you're gonna leave it open on the fifth string once you get to the next chord. So uh, I'll go really slowly here for you um, just so you can so you can see what's, uh, what's going on here. Um, play the right strings. So again, okay. Now the next one's pretty pretty easy. You're just gonna keep on that open uh, fifth string. Right. Three measures, and then end with the pinky back up here on the sixth string fourth fret, right. like so. So one more time through. That's pretty much the song. It just repeats until it fades out. Now, here is the alternate version with no capo at all. Uh, in my opinion, uh, much easier to play, um, although slightly, slightly inaccurate, just based on the fact that you're using the second string, which is a, a different timbre than the other string. So uh, the way this is going to work is you're going to have uh, your bass notes will be here on the, uh, the third fret. So. Uh, we're going to have a uh, uh, third fret, sixth string, and then open frets on the um, third string and second string, okay? And then you're going to go um, to the third fret, fifth string, and do second string, third string. So you're still doing the same pattern. Um, it's just now you're on the second and third string, so. So that's that uh, rendition there. Now the bass notes are gonna be a lot easier to play on this one because you're not actually using any fingers to achieve these notes. So it's a lot easier to move around um, on the bass notes. So uh, what we're gonna have is third, fr uh, third fret sixth string, open fret fifth string, second fret fifth string. Uh, and you have, you can do either fourth fret fifth string, you can do open fret uh, third string. It's up to you. Um, I personally like fifth fret here, although they're, they're pretty much indistinguishable. Um, then you slide back down to that third fret for the next chord. Slide it to the uh, second fret, fifth string there. And that's it. A lot easier as you can tell. So yeah. Uh, also, if you feel so inclined, you can add the vocal melody. It's just basically a hammer on. on that on that B string. So you just have the, the B, which is the second string, 
hammered onto the first fret, and then no frets. Like so. Anyway, uh, so um, that's the song. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty simple song. Um, any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, and thank you everyone so much for watching.